This is a kilowatt. It measures the amount of wattage that devices pull from the wall. So you just plug it into the wall and then you plug in another device and it reads out how many watts it pulls. So I'm gonna be using it to test some common household items. So the first item is a shop vac. So it just can suck up anything and it pulls a whopping 850-ish watts. The next thing is this media center with a soundbar, TV, Xbox, and Wi-Fi router. At idle, it pulls around 25 watts. And then when you're using the Xbox, it pulled the most at 178 watts, but really didn't pull that much. The coffee maker, on the other hand, pulled 450 to 1,520 watts. Our toaster pulled 800 watts. My computer, which is not exactly power efficient, it has a 650 watt power supply, so that's the max it can pull. At idle, pulled 100 watts. While watching a YouTube video, pulled around 120 watts. Cinebench pulled almost the same, 130 watts, and this is taxing the CPU using all the cores. It did spike up to around 230, 240. And Furmark, which stress tests the GPU, maxed out at 300 watts, which is a lot, but that's a little less than half of my computer's max power draw. This LED light bulb pulled about 6 watts. This smart bulb pulled a maximum of 10 watts, but can dim to 5 watts. And then this halogen bulb can pull around 40. This Vornado fan does about 53 watts. And now this is the device that don't take a lot. So this is the Echo Flex. It's 1 watt. This is a carbon monoxide detector. It pulls 0 watts. And this is an LED night light, which pulls 0 watts. These both pull a little bit more than 0 watts. You can actually calculate how many watts things take without a kilowatt. All you have to do is multiply volts by amps. So this charger pulls 10 watts. And also another side note that... A breaker can do 1800 watts on a circuit at the most before it trips. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching.